In utter, utter stillness, while you stand agog, a tearing, twisting sheet of pond clouds you with a frog. So in the next image, the poet is trying to make you visualize that you are standing on the moon in eagerness. Now why you are so eager? Because of the situation, you are very surprised and you are full of suspense that what will happen next. A tearing, twisting sheet of pond clouds you with a frog. Now a sheet of pond arises from somewhere in the air and it is tearing and twisting and it is full of frogs. And what happens? That sheet of pond hits your feet and the frogs which are present in the in that sheet of pond, they hit you again. It, it is a very unusual image because um, you will never see any liquid without any um, a container or a boundary a liquid uh, will only uh, maintain its presence if it is held in some container if it is present in some pond or in some uh, glass or in or in any uh, uh, vessel but you can never find uh, water or any liquid thing in the air without any vessel or without any boundary so it is very strange that there is a sheet of pond without any boundary there is just water just imagine a water without any boundary without any vessel and it is full of frogs again it is a very a very awkward image a camp of caravans suddenly squawks and takes off so what happens in the next image a camp of caravans now what is a caravan a caravan is a group of people or animals which is traveling together so what happens a camp of caravans which is traveling uh, there um, must be some creatures some animals or some humans in that caravan and what happens it squacks it suddenly it makes very harsh and loud cries and sounds and it takes off how it takes off just like an aeroplane so imagine a caravan traveling in the desert taking off like an aeroplane. It is so unusual, isn't it?